Welcome back to more designs and to my new series I'm calling Quick Tip Tuesday and these will be all sorts of quick little tips on how to improve your digital planning, work on Procreate, and all the other topics we've been covering on this channel. Today Paula asked how to create hourly slots for your digital planner so I'm going to walk you through that. You're going to start by inserting a rectangle onto your planner and you want to create it so that it has no fill but that it does have a line around the outside. From there you're actually going to start typing right on the figure. So I'm going to start at 7 a.m. just because typically that is when things start happening for me but obviously you can change that. After you type your time you're going to use the underscore on your keyboard to fill up the rest of the space. You will have to play around with the size both of the font and the square to make it work out for your planner. So I'm going to make this much smaller and then add some more underscores. My next time slot is going to be 7.30. Rather than type 7.30, I'm just going to have a second line that lines up with the slot underneath. Now notice because my text is centered, the lines don't line up. And ideally I want these lines to line up so that it's clear that the first line is for seven and the next is for 7.30. Best way to do this is highlight both text and use the alignment and align it to the right of your page. Then you wanna make sure that the length of each line is the same. And you also might end up wanting to adjust the box a little bit so that everything fits together. Once I have that done, I'm simply gonna copy and paste few times and then I'm going to go back in and start changing the numbers. Now you'll notice for my double digit times the spacing then becomes messed up so I'm going to have to go back to my box and stretch it out a little bit to accommodate those bigger numbers. So I'm noticing at this point that I'm getting to about seven o'clock and ideally I'd like to get another hour in there. So I am gonna have to reconfigure this a little bit either by changing the size of my box or by changing the size of the font that is inside and holding those numbers. Once I have my box the way I like it, I copy and paste it and bring it over to my planner page. And once again, I'm gonna have to play around with the sizing a little bit just to make sure that it lines up with everything that I have on my planner. And there you have it. Now we have our inserts for our digital planner. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip Tuesday. Please make sure you comment below if you have any other questions or ideas for future videos. I'm happy to help answer any of those questions you come across as you're digitally planning. I'll see you next time on more designs.